A restaurant expansion breaks records. There was probably a thousand people. We actually almost ran out of food. This is News on Main, your connection to small business. Burgers, jeans, and pizza. As the year comes to a close, we're happy to report big news from some of our most memorable small businesses. Dick's Drive-In, a popular Seattle burger chain, wanted to expand beyond its five locations for the first time in more than 30 years. In a bit of a social media experiment, they asked their customers to choose the new location. We let customers vote either north, south, or east of Seattle, and in three weeks, we had 115,000 people vote on our, our instant poll. Dick's new restaurant opened on schedule to record crowds. Vice President Jim Spady says they sold more burgers on the second day there than they had on any other day at any of their other locations in the chain's history. We actually almost ran out of food. We had plenty of beef, but we didn't have enough uh, of buns, so we had to do what we call bun runs by going to the other stores and bringing back hamburger buns so that we didn't have to close early. Back in the fall, we introduced you to entrepreneur Tanya Shaw and her My Best Fit machine that uses 3D body imaging to match women with the right name brand jeans. They can shop in a broad spectrum in terms of show me all the jeans that fit me in this mall, or they can be very specific that I'm looking for low rise, dark wash, and I don't want to pay more than $100. Not only have they grown from one to 10 locations, but they've also rebranded. The machine is now called Meality. Tanya says they wanted a name that could go beyond jeans. While the original name of My Best Fit got lots of media coverage, the attention was more on the technology aspect than their unique brand. A while back, we told you about a tiny New Orleans pizza joint backed by billionaire Mark Cuban that was on the brink of a huge franchise breakout. One of the, one of the beautiful things about our model is it's simple and it's recession proof and, and people need to eat and it's at a price point that's affordable. So that's why our model is, uh, is being purchased all over the country. Naked Pizza has not only expanded across the U.S., but they now have three international locations in Dubai. The guys tell us their emphasis on social media was widely embraced by the young population in the region, but they did change the word naked to NKD out of cultural sensitivity, and they say it adds a little intrigue. Naked Pizza will be opening soon in Chicago, Sydney, and Beirut, just to name a few. And if that wasn't enough, they launched a frozen pizza line back in the fall. Guess those guys have given up sleep altogether. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's your news on Maine, your connection to small business. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to tip your waitress. Thank you.